and we're live <laughs> good afternoon youtube or is it even good morning i'm not sure i haven't got a clue what time it is it's day o'clock it is it's day o'clock so um i've been prepping this morning i've got I've done a little bit of prep work and we're going to have a look and unbox the new 4425a kit from picoscope automotive so yeah, hope you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, thumbs up, hit the not bell for notifications, subscribe, all that. <laughs> Dave Steele's in, Steve's in from Australia, <laughs> morning Steve, how are you mate? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got the old trusty Thunderbird 1 prep there, ready to go. We've got all the kit in the back of uh, Thunderbird 2. So let's just go through my setup, what I've got. Take you around to the back of the van. Smoke Solutions, good afternoon. Right, so we've got the we've got the GYS on on the minute at uh, 13 and a half volts battery support. It should be able to give us 100 amps for cranking, so we'll see how that fares. Normally it does a good job for us, Palmer, good morning. See, I've got wires and leads everywhere. <laughs> there's, the, there's the box, but we'll get to that in a minute. Northern, good morning. So, what we've got here, we've got a 2.2 um, Ford engine in a 2007 Citroen Relay. And all I've got little is unplugged so I can crank it without it starting. I've got a connection to battery positive, and down there I've got the 2000 amp amps clamp. So, without further ado, in the box, the box is a little bit empty at the minute. We get the scope, we get two sets of uh, probes and crocodile clips one red, one black. We get the two clamps, we've got the 2000 amp clamp that's already on the vehicle and then we got the, the 60 amp clamp. You'll notice the profile is a lot thinner, the jaws are actually a lot wider now on this new 60 amp clamp so that'd be good for battery drain but the, the good stuff's at the business end. We've got BNC Plus and what that means is the scope can auto detect what uh, sort of probe you've attached and we'll automatically select the correct uh, the correct probe so it, it avoids the, the setup issues other people have and then it will also light up blue and yellow to tell you what's uh, we'll get to that in a minute we've got a set of back probes we've got, we've got one we'll see again with BNC plus Four, four leads, red, blue, yellow and green. We've got the attenuated probe, which is brilliant. I love these little attenuated probes. Two fuse savers. Two cop extensions for coil on plug. Two um, inductive pickup, both with BNC Plus. Let me just pick that bag up. We don't want to lose the bags just yet. And then we get to the actual business end now. So, the 4425A. It's roughly the same footprint as the old scope. With the additional earth on the back as well. That screw that you can see there, that's the additional earth. And then also, um, so that'll reach down on um, environmental noise and that. And then you'll also, there, there's a 5 volt DC power input for future developments the case seems a lot better uh, it's a good sturdy rubberized case and then the business end you can see there we've got the 4 BM BNC plus morning Steve and then we've got a light on there to show it's ready so it's powered up with uh, the high-speed uh, USB 3 connector and then what we can do is if we plug 
plug the clamp in. So this is this is the business end of the of the, the current clamp. You can see it's red and blue. If I plug that in now, you can, I don't think you can see it in this light, but it's it's actually lit up. And then we've got our battery cable. So it's a simple push fit. You don't no more turn and twist. So hopefully that'll be no more. Um, no more uh, worn out BNC connectors and then from there just move that out of the way slightly go over onto the laptop sorry about the glare let's see if we can get any better we're going to use the Pico 7 software so Peak Scope Automotive this is still a beta software bear in mind Angel, how are you, mate? <laughs> you see, we started the, the Pico software up. It automatically comes up with the presets and the guides and all that sort of stuff. But we'll we'll ignore them for now. And what we can see immediately is that it's selected a current clamp for channel A and battery voltage for channel B, and it's auto ranged both channels. So bearing in mind there's no current going through that current clamp at the minute, that's actually clamped onto the earth strap of the vehicle. So it's auto ranged at plus or minus 5 amps. Yeah. Whereas channel B, there's battery voltage so it's gone onto a 20 volt scale. So what we need to do before we do anything, is we just need to turn up this current clamp. Click on the box, 1000 amps should do it. Click on the box again to get rid of that. And this is optimised for touch screen. Morning Corey, how are you? So this is optimised for touch screen, but I am using a mouse at the minute just to keep my fat hands out of the way. So it's on a, it's automatically on a, a 10 second time scale. Yeah. Two million samples, no trigger. Okay. Literally hey, it up. <laughs> How are you Joey? Long time mate, hope you're doing well. So there's no trigger set up, I actually want to put a trigger on it, so I'm just going to click on the trigger box. I'm going to select a single trigger. Right, that'll do, click on the trigger box again and then you see we've got a little yellow diamond here and the, the cursor's actually stopped. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it back and drag it up. And it's now sat there waiting, so all I'm going to do now is crank the vehicle so round to the van turn the ignition on and crank that's it go around and we can see now that we've actually captured captured the waveform 1300 so it is good afternoon awesome I wondered what time it was it's day o'clock in Cheshire on day 7549 of the lockdown yeah Steve and I have I've got my laptop plugged into the mains but you can see this hash here we can dead easily get rid of that we can really really easily get rid of that we can go on to channel B and we can just knock the vertical resolution up a little bit just take it up to 14 and a half bits click on the box again so that just cleans it up and that cleans it up afterwards so we've got a raw capture and it only it only filters it post capture so all your original information is still there drop it down see what a battery voltage drop down to it. its lowest point so it's not looking good for this battery it's only 12 months old yeah we're dropping down to uh, nine volts there yeah so the old battery's a bit uh, come on focus we're dropping down <coughs> excuse me we're dropping down to nine volts there 
and then the important stuff is the current clamp you notice I didn't turn the clamp on or anything I didn't have to zero it, it auto zeroed and let's drag our ruler down from the left hand side average cranking 293 amps and we peak roughly about 780 and then what we can also do go over onto the right hand side there's a zoom button we don't have to mess about we don't have to select anything we can just literally drag across see everything we want all the detail we want I really do like this Pico 7 I really really do and then we've got our rulers from the left hand side two peaks and we've got our cranking RPM all done automatically for us yeah so uh, oh you want to have a look at the battery maintainer right okay um this is available from i got mine years ago I, this has been bouncing around in the back of my van for over three years and it's never missed a beat it's fanless <coughs> and it's a gys flash 100.12 so it's ideal for programming if i stop it i've also got showroom mode which just keeps it at 13 and a half volts a full charge mode which is fully selectable for different types of batteries and then what I want just Diag Plus and then I've got leads for it I set down here with the Anderson connectors I think they're three meter and then I've got a set of custom made 10 meter leads and you can see they go all the way out the back of the van and all the way to the front of the van with loads to spare and then they're, they're here on me on my battery so yeah uh, absolutely. the only problem is with them being uh, 10 meter the, you, you have to calibrate the leads and mine won't calibrate so the, the, charging, uh, the charging curve is slightly out on it um, but when I'm using it in battery support mode that's, that's fine so yeah, basically that's 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 the nuts and bolts of it. It's that easy to do a relative compression test, and it's that easy to use the Pico Seven software. Any questions? Have you got any questions? Any questions? No? <laughs> You're an easy audience today, you lot are. You're not asking me anything. <laughs> so I'm going to have a little bit of play, a little bit of a play with it, get some more bits and probes and done, and then we'll do a couple of more in-depth videos as the weeks go on. But uh, overall, I'm very, very impressed with it. Like, like it's already been said before, that the 4425A is no different internally in regards of uh, processing power sampling power anything like that um, than the 4425 um, but what it does do it takes away that connectivity hurdle for people um, and actually gets the scope out of the box and gets it being used so and the big the big saver obviously is uh, no batteries in the current clamps and the profiles are a lot better so with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up, drop us a comment in the comments box below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I'll put links to the suppliers and everything in the video when it's uploaded. I'll, I'll edit the description. And uh, YouTube's been a bit slow at the moment. So it normally it's taking about 18 hours to process a live video before the live chat's available. We'll be we checked back this time tomorrow. The live chat will be there. So, thanks for watching.
You're awesome. <laughs>